Hey guys, welcome back to God's Virtual School, where we just love, love, love teaching about Jesus and sharing his love around the world. Good to learn from the hearing, that is right. That's what we do. We share God's word and we share his love all around the world. Today we have a special program for you, or a special video for you. We have a young lady, her name is Gloria. Her and her beautiful family, they live in India. But they came by to visit us this past summer and we had a blessed time. And so we had Bible study and she ended up getting baptized, getting all her sins washed away. She got baptized by her father. It was a wonderful time, wonderful time. And so what I decided to do is to challenge her to learn the books of the Old Testament. She kind of knew them, but she wasn't confident in that. And so she practiced and practiced and she became very confident and able to do it straightforward. And then I said, okay, the Lord placed on my heart, challenge her with something else. So I said, hey, why don't you learn a verse from each book of the Old Testament? But here, but here, but here. I know how many books are in the Old Testament. How many, Joe? 40 minus 1. That means it's 39 books. Very good, Joe. And so that is what she did. And today we are going to hear about the first five books, because you know it goes 5, 12, 5, 5, 12. And the first five books are over there, over there. They are the books of love. Written by Moses. Very good, Joe. Okay, Joe, tell me the second group of books. The 12 books. We had the five. Now, what are the 12? Oh, the name didn't say. The names of the books. Oh, this is easy. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Good job, Joe. Now, the second group, the 12 books, what are they, Joe? Those are the history books. The history of, of, of the Israelites. Very good, Joe. Very, very good. Now, what are the 12 books by name, Joe? Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, and Esther. Yay! Joe, you did it. And so those are going to be the memory verses from the books of law and the history books that she is going to share with us. The memory verses. She's going to do it by memory. Also for the year, she will do it by memory, but she's doing it with the help of the Lord. He always helps us every day. That is correct. Okay, Joe, count us in. A one and a two and a three. Hit it. These are my memory verses from the books of law and the books of history. Genesis 1, verse 26. Then God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on earth. Exodus 6 verse 7. I will take you to be my people, and I will be your God, and you shall know that I am the Lord your God who has brought you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. Leviticus 19, verse 18. You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against the sons of your own people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. Number six, verse 24. The Lord bless you and keep you. Deuteronomy 4, verse 35. To you it was shown, that you might know 
that the Lord is God. There is no other besides him. Joshua 1 verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord, your God, is with you wherever you go. Judges 6 verse 12. The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Ruth 1 verse 16. But Ruth said, Do not urge me to leave you or to return from following you. For where you go, I will go. And where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. 1 Samuel 12, verse 16. Now therefore, stand still and see this great thing that the Lord will do before your eyes. 2 Samuel 7, verse 22. Therefore you are great, O Lord God, for there is none like you, and there is no God besides you, according to all that we have heard with our ears. 1 Kings 18, verse 37. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the Lord God, and that thou hast turned their hearts back again. 2 Kings 20, verse 5. Turn back and say to Hezekiah, the leader of my people, thus says the Lord, the God of David, your father, I have heard your prayers, I have seen your tears. Behold, I will heal you. On the third day, you shall go up to the house of the Lord. First Chronicles 16, verse 23. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Second Chronicles 1, verse 12. Wisdom and knowledge are granted to you. I will also give you riches, possessions, and honor such as none of the kings had who were before you, and none after you shall have the like. Ezra 10, verse 4. Arise, for it is your task, and we are with you. Be strong and do it. Nehemiah 1, verse 5. And I said, O Lord, God of heaven, the great and awesome God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments. Esther 4, verse 15. Then Esther told them to reply to Mordecai. Once again, these are my memory verses from the books of law and the books of history. I thank God for his love, and I thank you for your time. I also encourage you to put God's word in your heart. Psalms 119, verse 11. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. May you have a wonderful day in the Lord. Thank you. Wow, Joe, that was amazing. God has really blessed her with a beautiful talent to be able to share his word in such a beautiful and lovely way. We are so proud of her. Joe, yeah. you okay? Oh, Brittany Henry, I was just mesmerized. That just really spoke to my heart. She did a really good job. A really good job, Gloria. Keep it up. And always give God the glory like you do. And we do want to put God's word in our hearts so that we will not sin against him. That's correct, Joe. Let's close out with a word of prayer. Father God, thank you so very much for blessing us with this beautiful time. And thank you for the beautiful family, the Christian family that Gloria comes from. And we're thankful for Sonny and we're thankful for the mom and dad. And we know that they are beautiful Christians. And we just pray that as our lives have been blessed by listening to her and her taking the dedication, having the dedication to memorize those verses, pray, Father, that it will inspire not only just a few, but a lot of people because we need your word in this world, there's a lot of things going on, but we know that your word will stand the test of time. It is our strength, it is our hope, and it is our salvation that is found in Jesus Christ. It is in his name that we pray. Amen.
and it right here. That's really awesome. Bye, guys. See you in the next video. Bye for now. Love you. Bye. But God loves you more.